The International Monetary Fund has kicked off the new year with some predictions about the global economy, and they are definitely gloomy. As Jeannie Lee tells us, the IMF says things will get worse before they get better. And so what is happening uh, is that uh, you have the three biggies when it comes to global economies. You, uh, the uh, U.S., the EU, the European Union, and China all falling into recession. And when that happens, you can expect other people, other countries, to also sneeze, shall we say. So uh, here's what... Uh, um, Kristalina Christa, Georgieva had to say about this uh, when she spoke uh, to a U.S. Uh, talk show um, on the weekend. We expect one-third <clears throat> excuse me, of the world economy to be in recession, uh, and she means this year. Even countries that are not in recession, it would feel like recession for the hundreds of millions of people. And uh, certainly that is because of various things. You have the war in Ukraine. You have rising prices. You have higher interest rates. You have the spread of COVID in China. All of these things happening, and especially already, we've heard from the IMF um, downgrading the uh, global eco economic outlook back in October. And since then, of course, the spread of COVID in China has uh, ignited. So that's why she has turned even more negative than she was. Well, we're expected to be one of the one-thirds of the uh, global economy that uh, will also fall into recession because of the impact on those three large uh, factors, uh, China, the EU, and the U.S. And so if you take a look also specifically at what is happening in Canada, you'll see that there's a lot weighing on the economy. You have uh, those higher interest rates uh, started at practically zero a year ago. Now they uh, Bank of Canada overnight rate uh, at uh, four and a half well, almost a four and a half percent. A lot of economists expected to get as high as four and a half percent sometime soon. So very expensive to borrow. A lot of people in debt. A lot of businesses in debt. That's going to have an impact on the economy. So the next line will show you that rates uh, may eventually fall because the economy does slump. But that will only be late next year. So in the meantime, a lot of pain. And overall, you have this uh, expectation for the Canadian economy to contract through the year, whether it'll be a serious recession is you know, debatable, but definitely a slowdown.